Hi everyone and welcome to one of my how-to series on Gomukhasana known as cow facing pose. This pose has a lower body portion and an upper body portion. I'll show you both today so that you can see the full pose, but a lot of times the upper body, meaning the arms, will be added into a sequence as well as the lower body or vice versa. It's a great way to learn how to do something with or without the bind, which is the Gomukhasana arms, but also how to get into the pose even when you have really tight hips. So if you don't have two blocks, feel free to grab your blocks now. If you don't own two blocks, that's fine. You can always grab a towel or you can grab a big cushion to sit on, all right? We're gonna go ahead and bring it on down to the ground and we're gonna start on our hands and knees tabletop. And yes, the dog ran through the video and did a quick zoomy, but now she's back on the couch. <laughs> now start to take one knee, doesn't matter which, in a few circles. One, two, three, and then reverse those circles for me. Three, two, and one. Let's switch sides, okay? Three, two, one, and then reverse it. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Go ahead and press your hips back through child's pose. Exhale, you can put your head down if you can. Good. Inhale, shift forward, tabletop, and right into cow, sticking out the butt, lifting up your chest. Good. Exhale, tuck the chin. And then exhale, sink the hips right back to child's pose. Walk the hands out, lowering the forehead. One more time, we rise up to tabletop. We drop the belly, we elongate the gaze up and forward as we tilt the tailbone, finding the nice sway in your back. Good. Now, from here, grab your block if you think you might need it. I don't need to sit on my block, but if you do, please feel free to sit on a block, okay? Go ahead and sit onto your butt to start. Block is coming. Now, we're gonna cross our right thigh over our left thigh. So literally crossing our knees, not stacking the foot, as if you were moving into a twist. So knee over knee. And because of that, I'm gonna to rotate towards you just so that you can see a little bit better, okay? Now, if you have really tight hips, sitting on a block can be super beneficial, but also if you have tight hips, this can just be a really beneficial pose for you. Pinky toe edges of my feet are down, big toe side of my foot is up. Now, the bottom leg should be your left leg, okay? Top leg is the right. Place the right hand down, which is the leg on top, Raise your left arm up to the sky and then start this lateral side bend. So option to stay on the palm or maybe drop to the forearm. You should feel your bottom leg stretching in the top of the hip flexor and thigh a lot. So if your right leg is on top, you should feel your left leg stretching a good bit. Holding three. Keep stretching for two. And then on your exhale, make a big fist over your head. We're going to look down. Good. Now I can see my left foot a.k.a. your bottom foot. Cross your tricep over your thigh, just like a nice twist. And then as you continue to twist to your right, bring your right palm over your fist. So it's this idea of ball in a mitt. Good, twisting to the right, rotating. Trying to get your heart to open up as you feel your shoulders stack. Three. Twisting with me for two. And then exhale, center for one, release. Couple options here. Let's all take option one together. So we're gonna hold on to our feet and or put our fingertips down. You might be like, holy cow, my hips are tight and I really feel this. I just want you to lead with your heart. Maybe hook your chin over your knee. Maybe you can't do that from an anatomical standpoint or just doesn't feel good. And then fold, holding three, two, one. Slowly rise up. Gomukhasana arms. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, your right hand's gonna grab your left elbow like a simple tricep stretch and you're gonna place your palm down the center of your spine. Option to stay right here. Option two, the right arm releases out to the right, which is the same direction we are moving in the lateral stretch. Then as you roll the thumb down, start to feel the shoulder rotate down too. You're gonna send your arm up your back. So I'm gonna turn around just so you can see this a little bit better. And while you're here, you might notice that your hands touch. So I can work my fingertips so they almost get there or I can just grab hold of my sports bra and tank top, maybe even your ponytail, it's up to you. Or if you have a strap, you can also undo your strap 
and then you would put it in your top arm so that it's easiest to grab from overhead. And then you'd work your hands on your strap, okay? So I'm gonna hold the strap. I'm rejoining you with my right leg crossed over my left leg. Option to stay upright, and you'll notice for me, this is a really hard side, okay? The other side is my, I guess I would consider it my easier side, but it's still challenging. From there, exhale, fold forward. And as I do that, I really feel the pull in my shoulder. You're supposed to keep the back of your head still connected to the arm that's in the air, so the back of your left tricep, or forearm, depending on how you feel. Again, my hips are tight, my shoulders are tight, so this is a version of the imperfect of yoga, which is okay. Take your time and rise up, long, long spine, good. Now we're gonna release the bottom arm first, AKA the right arm. And then exhale, let your left arm go and shake it out. Beautiful, other side, we cross left leg over right. Now you might need to come up onto your knees, reposition your booty on your block, yada yada. You'll notice when my left leg is on top, it's tighter. So it's harder for me to have right leg on bottom. I feel my right hip pulling more. So don't need the block, but you might notice that maybe you do need a block on one side or maybe even two blocks and that's okay. Or stack some nice beach towels if you don't own your blocks. So this time we're gonna take our left hand out to the left. We're gonna take a nice side lateral bend to the left. We're gonna feel the big pull in the top of the right hip as we do so, and we lengthen. Good, option to stay on the palm or maybe the forearm. Nope, my forearm does not wanna come down on this side because my right hip is tighter and I look up and lengthen and stretch. Now we're gonna go for the twist, so go ahead and just look down at your right foot. Again, that's the bottom foot. Bend your right elbow, cross your tricep over your thigh bone, right? And then exhale, twist to your left. Bring your hand on top of your right fist. So again, that ball and mitt concept and then rotate, three. Good, lean your head forward. Try to relax the shoulders, two. And then exhale, gently rise up. Good, bring your hands to your feet, inhale. Exhale, stay upright, feeling the pelvis slightly tilt forward so there's this gentle anterior tilt. Exhale, chest, maybe you hook your chin and then fold over. Hooking the chin is difficult, so maybe you just fold and hang here, all right? Three, two, and then rise up so we have the gomukhasana bind in the legs. Now let's add the gomukhasana bind in the arms. Again, cow facing pose, okay? Inhale, raise your right arm to the sky. Pick up your left arm, grab your right elbow so that your right palm now goes down the spine. Good, exhale, reach out with your left arm, same direction we were side bending. Roll your thumb down. Send your left arm up the spine so that the fingers touch. Now on this side, my fingers clasp and I don't need my strap, which makes sense because my left shoulder is much more open than my right. I still wanna try to work my elbow to the sky versus towards you, so see if you can find that same sensation pulling your head back. Option one, stay upright. Option two, I invite you to hinge forward. Gently start to feel this fold as you feel the pull in your left shoulder, three. Again, maybe folding forward is a bad idea, so maybe stay upright, or maybe altogether the arm part is hard, so feel free to release. Last breath. Bottom arm goes first, so let that left arm free. Right arm rises up and over, exhale, release. If you have any more questions about Gomukhasana, feel free to comment below, and hopefully your hips feel a little bit looser than when we started. Thanks for practicing with me, guys, and I'll see you again soon.